All right, now we're going to hit play and just audition that real quick. And you can hear kind of how it's going. Can bring that up a little bit. So what you end up with here is a multiple hit. And you can uh, mute it right from the loop player if you felt like it. And you could also have it stretch according to the uh, tempo. And in fact, that's doing that already. Let's uh, reduce the tempo and listen to what happens. Still in time. We'll bring it back up to something a little more natural. Maybe pump its level a little bit. Also, one thing uh, that's important to do is to rename your contraption so that you know what's going on. So I'll call that four floor toms. Now let's. Uh, get into loop player 2 and tell it what to play. I don't know, let's put a snare in there. Here are the snares. Put uh, a click snare in there. And now, you can hear that it's detuned because, and the reason it's detuned is because it's being told to stretch. So let's tell it to stop stretching. And what that does is trigger it at the top of the measure, but does not actually stretch it out to the tempo. And that might be a little more useful for what we're up to here. And we'll also name this one. The third loop player, we're going to add a another snare to it. There we go. This is another multi-strike uh, uh, sample. That's actually not that bad right there. It's an interesting polyrhythm that we've uh, stumbled into, which, by the way, is one of Audio Mulch's great strengths. Just adding pieces uh, and contraptions into a, uh, into a mixer produces uh, some interesting relationships between samples that uh, would be difficult to get to using other tools. So let's... Uh, Let's turn off the stretch for a second and see what happens. It sounds a lot more conventional because uh, the uh, tempo is not a factor in its playback. I kind of like it the other way. We're going to uh, rename this and we're going to call this Slow Trips. Of course, the relative levels are all mixable right here. And it helps, too, to solo what you are uh, adding to your uh, drum loop so that you can tell what you're really dealing with. Don't hear any truncation noise. All right. So here's everybody. And I'm beginning to tire of that triplet idea, quite frankly. So it's a good thing that I've got a uh, gain knob for it. <laughs> 